Hello everyone and welcome to another Toon Boom tip animation video thing. This time we're going to talk a little bit about making animated GIFs but how to make them with a transparent background. Toon Boom doesn't actually have this in it as an inherent feature so this is kind of like how to do it with the workaround. So I'm going to show you a few workflows because there's ways of getting not just an animated GIF, but also um, a, a movie exported from Toon Boom with transparency, which you can use in other things, other editing software applications and so on. So these are my uh, top tips for working with that transparency. If you've watched my other video about uh, creating animated GIFs in Toon Boom, then you'll uh, understand a little bit about how we got to and we got to the stage where you can just export. It's pretty easy. Just go file, export, animated GIF. There's a couple of settings in there. Now, one of the things that you could do is pop in a color card. So a color card is just a, a node, which is just kind of like a big background of color. Obviously, if you're wanting to export with, with transparency, you have to turn that off, which is D, is the shortcut with it selected. But if you go to file, export, animated GIF, is going to give you um, a black a black background. It's going to give you a solid color instead of um, transparency, which is not what we want. So there is no setting, there's no checkbox to, to do this. You've got to remember as well that animated GIFs don't support pixels that are kind of like translucent, like somewhere between zero and 100 of transparency. They have to either be transparent or opaque. So you have to remember that when you are exporting things. For example, these windows of this car, which are actually a color that's got like 50% opacity on it, they won't export well. So that's the kind of thing you need to remember when you're working in this, in this method. How do we get the workaround that makes us able to make animated GIFs in Toon Boom with transparency as quick as possible? Well, weirdly, I've tried out a lot of different methods. And for me, the, the method of using a color background and then extracting that color just doesn't produce very good results. We're going to be using a website that's called EasyGIF, so ezgif.com, and uh, I'll put the link down in the description as well. But this one's a very good service that allows us to kind of quickly pop in, you know, a GIF and, and then choose the GIF that you've got already and you can optimize and do all kinds of stuff. So this is a good place for us to work from. But we aren't going to work with that straight away. What we're going to do is we are going to export our frames with transparency. Let me just turn this off. That's D to deactivate a node. And I'm going to go File, Export. In here, I think I mentioned before, Render Right Nodes. Now this is if you have a right node in your node view. I've added one in. Okay, if you don't have one in 20, you can just hit return and start typing right, and then it will bring the right node in. If you connect this up to your composite of everything that you, you want to export, and then click the yellow box and you'll get the options here. Now, I've got frames uh, as the folder, which is the folder within the project file. So this is working, don't forget we're working in Harmony Premium here, which is why we can see the node view. And I'm giving it the prefix of car and then underscore. And I'm importantly choosing the drawing type as PNG4. So PNG4, the four means it's like the fourth channel, RGB, and then the fourth is the alpha. So we're going to export all of our frames that way. And to do that, we just go export, render right nodes. It will render every one of these right nodes that you have in the scene. We've just got one here. I'm choosing all frames. I could choose a selection. And then you click OK, and it will run through those those uh, those frames and export them for you. So just to show you what it looks like inside my project uh, folder, there's my X stage Toon Boom file. Inside the frames folder, I have 18 frames with transparency. There's a kind of the, the Mac way of looking at things with that um, sort of blurred out background. They're all ready to go. Now, the reason why we export it that way rather than go to GIF and then try and remove the color, which is a function that exists in easygif.com is because it just didn't give me very good results. There was a little bit of anti-aliasing, there was a bit of like pixelation stuff. So you're better off whenever you're trying to convert something, always start with the highest quality version that you can. And in this instance, having the the, the individual images is a great way to do that. So we're going to do GIF Maker and we're going to upload and make to GIF. Now, there's no images selected. That was my first mistake there. So I'm going to click choose 
go to my frames folder, choose for upload, you will see when I click this, the slow sort of thing is it uploads all those images in a sequence to the website. Now I've used this for loads of stuff. I like this website just because of the fact that uh, it's, it's kind of like less invasive with ads and things. Some of the GIF conversion things are a bit of a bit of a pain. Now I'm not going to mess around with the delay. This is sort of like one hundredth of a second. It talks about that. You can alter these things, but I'm going to do that later with, with speed up just for, for ease of explanation. But you can you can change all of these settings as you do it. But the main thing we've got to make sure we turn on here is don't stack frames. And this is because it's got a transparent background. We don't need to use the first frame as a background. That's fine. So just turn that on. And you can also use a global color map because it's saying use the same set of colors on all the frames. And they are the same on every, on every frame. Sometimes you get a slight quality difference. The loop count, if you leave this blank, it will loop forever. So that's cool. And then we just choose make a GIF. Now, the way how this website works is that the one that has been optimized or converted appears at the bottom. Now, this is cool. It's got transparency. It's a touch slow. So I'm going to go to speed. And then it brings in our optimized one. And we can just knock that up to like 400, change speed. And again, the optimized one appears below. So now we've got that one. And now we can then choose to optimize the actual GIF itself. So it's currently 600 kilobytes. Maybe choose optimize for transparency. And it'll save us a little bit of space. You get this cool little cat animation. So it's saved. It's uh, it's actually made it larger, which is um, definitely not what we want to do. So instead of that, we're going to make the size smaller. So let's do that, because I don't need this massive size. I'm just going to go for 600. You leave the other one blank. There you go, 50%. Resize image. And now we're down to 240 kilobytes. That's not bad at all, and that's a good size. So you're always going to get a little bit of artifacting with uh, artifacts around the edge of this, but this is just part of the charm of GIFs sometimes. If you really want to know the ins and outs of, of GIFs, or GIFs, how are you pronouncing them, you probably want to look back at the web sort of like in its infancy, really. The, these are kind of trendy retro, I'd say now. They're not really a thing that's like the most efficient way of using the web but it's, it's useful to have them. I'm going to show you another method about exporting a movie with transparency, which is probably a better way to get higher quality. This is a this is a fun thing to do. So when you've got something that you're happy with like this, I'm just going to save it. And there we go. It pops it in. Now, if I go and open the preview and there's our animated GIF. So that's how I would convert. You basically need to go PNG4 using the render right node function and and then import those images into easy gif it might seem a bit of a, a load of hoops to jump through to get there but it, for me it's a an easy way of doing it and it's a free way of doing it if you've already got toon boom harmony obviously you can use photoshop if you want to but i find that a little bit more cumbersome um, but you can get better image quality results from that the final tip i wanted to share with you was how to export a video format with an alpha channel, so with transparency, because you do have this option in Toon Boom. Uh, obviously, it's more stable generally to export an image sequence because you've got more quality on the individual images. You can extract them and so on. For animated GIFs, it's really handy. But sometimes you just want the, the movie files and you want to overlay them so you can bring them into editing software and, and so on. So how do you do that in, in Toon Boom? Well, it's got this functionality. It's a little bit hidden, so you have to go to File, and then we can go to export movie, for example. And in the export movie or export to video options, we have H.264 and QuickTime movie. Now, by default, most of the time, I think it leaves you on MPEG-4. But if we go to QuickTime movie, we get an option down here for movie options as well. If you click this one, you have the option of going from like Apple ProRes settings, H.264 to H.265. And when we choose H.265, we get the option for an alpha channel, which is really cool. So we can choose that and then we can click OK and export. And now, like magic, we have a movie with an alpha channel. This is this is really handy. I think if you work with anything, you know, that handles H.265, which is a you know a file format that's been around a little while now, 
you can you can bring video in and look how high the quality is this is you know a perfect representation of the original vector and also the window sort of the gradients are supported so that's what i was saying about the the animated gif being a little bit dated it's showing its age a touch because uh, you don't have all those functionalities in there so as a little wrap up then you've got the option to export animated gif or a movie file with transparency or alpha channels and you can use the PNG4 format as well to use image sequences to bring them into your own editing software, compositing, or whatever else you want to do with your animation. I hope this video has been useful to you. There's loads of information in there. So uh, go forth and make some cool movies. Thanks for watching.